Subarus are infinitely tunable. Mappers aren't superstars. They're not doctors. They're not brain surgeons. They're not magicians or wizards or anything else. They're just normal people with a passion for what they're doing. And there's no reason why you, if you're interested in self-tuning your own car, can't make your car run absolutely perfectly. So you're probably interested in self-tuning your Subaru, which is why you're watching, hopefully. What I'm gonna do in this series is basically take you through all the steps that you need to do in order to do that safely, efficiently, and get the best performance, best reliability from your car. I'm gonna go through the tools that you need to do the job. I'm gonna go through the basic steps, the starting point, how to read your ROM, how to make changes to your ROM, how to write that change back onto your ECU in your car. I'm going to go through how to look at data logs and see what's going on, how to interpret the data logs and how to apply those interpretations to the ROM file so that you can actually improve the performance or the reliability or the smoothness or the yeah, economy, maybe. It is a Subaru after all. So that's what I'm going to do. You don't need a dyno. It's helpful if you've got access to one, but you don't need one. What I'm gonna do is go through all of these steps as if you're tuning it on the road. I anticipate this will be about 15 or 16 videos, unless other topics come up from questions or comments along the way, in which case it may be, you know, <laughs> many more videos. So this is kind of a prelude. So what I'm gonna do through this series of videos, and this is just the first one, and through the whole series of videos, I'm gonna take you through right from a virgin car right the way through to a fully tuned car. So the videos will cover the basic steps, reading your ROM, writing your ROM, data logging, how to build a base map, the first steps in tuning, the tools that you need to do the job safely, how to use the tools, how to um, understand what's going on with the car. Um, and that will be broadly generic. There will be more detailed videos available for each of those subjects for Academy members. Um, if you weren't aware, I run an Academy on here as well, which teaches people how to self-tune their own car and guides them along the way. Uh, if you're interested in that, there is a, a join button down below. So once I've covered the basic topics of, of um, making changes, I'll go into much more detail about interpreting data logs um, making changes that um, are slightly more advanced in nature, like tuning the VVT side of things, um, going to different ROM types like Carberry and, and um, Merp Mod, um, like the speed density kind of things, and also touch on the aftermarket ECU side of things with Link and Cyvex. Um, so hopefully through the series, there'll be enough there to take you from a, a virgin car or a car that's been mapped maybe badly by someone else and actually improve it and make it yours as far as the tune is concerned. Plus we can add in some toys like pops and bangs and anti-lag and launch control, those sort of things that make it a little bit more fun along the way. But the whole idea is to get to a good tune that's reliable, that's safe, that's smooth, that's predictable, that's good for you, good for the car. Some tuners will advise you against this. And I, you know, I'd probably be with them in a lot of that uh, because unless you do it with the right tools, it could be unsafe for the car, you could blow it up. Um, so the process that I'm gonna take you through will help you get to the end of the process with a safe tune, a good tune, and you know, you'll learn along the way. Subarus are infinitely tunable. So I'm gonna start by going through the basics here and go through step by step and give you all the information that a pro tuner would have but you have the extra extra advantage that a pro tuner doesn't have and that is you've got the car with you at all times you can tune it and tweak it and adjust it and make it absolutely perfect in all weather conditions um, in all environments because you've got the advantage of time time is a precious commodity 
particularly if you're paying a pro tuner, um, they won't spend days and days and days tuning the car because it's just not economically viable for you to actually pay for that. So why would you want to tune your own car? It may be that um, you're in, um, in a place in the world that hasn't got a local tuner available. Um, there are many of those and I get contact, contacted by those um, all the time, you know, kind of help them map their car. So the idea with this is, to, is for me to help people that haven't got access to a tuner locally. So that it actually makes the car safer, more reliable and more fun. It might be that you've had experience with local tuners and they're just not um, up to the job or the car isn't performing how you want it to be. So you want to do it yourself. Great, that's fine. Or it might be that you know, you're know you wanting to learn so that you can actually apply this process for, for the future, maybe for customer cars. In which case, yeah, take it step by step. Don't miss out steps. Don't jump to the fun bits at the end because it's the important part is going through the whole process to actually go right the way through, understanding what happens all the way along the line to get to the end fun part it requires a little bit of patience. So please bear with me, please bear with yourself. You know, you might need to take a few steps back to take a few steps forward over the course of the next few weeks or months or even years. So the first part is understanding the risks. Things can go wrong, but if you follow the process, use the tools that I'll go through in the future videos, the risks of that are minimal. So that's it for today's video. There will be another one very soon. 